Good morning. Today is Friday, July 21st, and I am supposed to be getting on the road to go get my oil change and go to Atlanta. However, it's like seven something in the morning, so I'm just trying to get myself together. Um, I'm basically done. I'm like, got to pack up a few more things. And then I have to like brush my teeth, do my, a little bit of makeup, not a lot. Cause I'm not really doing much today. I'm going to Atlanta for the next two days. Um, and hanging out with my friend, my bestie for her birthday. Last night. I was struggling to try to figure out what to do with my hair. I've been trying to figure out what to do with my hair this weekend. I'm only going to be gone for two days. So I'm like, I don't really want to do no braid. Like, I want to do braids because, like, I'm not going to be trying to do my hair. But also, I don't want to do braids so that I don't have to. Um, so I can't come back and do my hair, like, braid my hair. So I have fresh braids for the next month. So I was like, I'm not going to, like, braid it up. I was gonna do cornrows, but that didn't work out. But anyways, I found a short hair uh, bob last night and um, it just didn't work out because I cut it and what I don't know how to do is trim my hair. Like, it just didn't work out. So then I found another bob, like a long one, and I was like, I'm not gonna cut it. I'm not gonna cut it. And what did I do? I cut it, I tried it again. I tried it again. For a second time and i'm going to show you guys what it looks like it's really not that bad like it's a long bob and this wig is so old like the way i think somebody a friend of mine gifted this to me but the way that is like the lace is laid it's like s laid this way and everything else is laid down like the the webs are like going this way but on this side it's going like this i'm like i'm not about to worry about this so then i went on youtube and was looking for like different stuff different stuff to do to my hair and i couldn't find anything until i found out that i could do this so i just did a slick back bun so we got a little curly piece i'll probably cut this off but i was like okay we can do this i was supposed to have everything packed of course throughout the week but of course i'm a last minute person so i had to go and get my um outfit i had to find something because i had to get rid of all my clothes in my closet when i moved to my old apartment because i lived in a studio so i didn't have any closet space so now i'm trying to rebuild trying to figure out how to rebuild my wardrobe to a point that i feel like best suits me um and so i don't know what that really looks like but what I do know is the stuff that I bought was cute, okay? And I can't wait for y'all to see what I got for this weekend. That's really what I that's really what I'm most excited about is that. I'll be posting a reel on Instagram with the outfits that I wore and like everything that I wore. For the weekend so make sure y'all check out my instagram i'll link it well i'll put like a little thing like right here i'll put it right there and so just make sure y'all follow that and follow me on instagram so y'all yeah, can keep following my content and stuff so like i just been feeling like a different person lately not in like a in a good way though like not in a bad way but like a good way i've been feeling like a a grown woman lately like i don't know what it is but truly and honestly i've been feeling like a grown-up like a real grown-up like yes i've been a grown-up for the past eight years i've been technically a grown-up because that's when i turned 18. i really wasn't a grown-up but i thought i was grown and now i really feel grown i think it's because like and it's been of lately like the last couple month like the last month or two i will say I just been like okay you know get my finances together i feel like my finances are in a great good place oh well almost in a good place like officially officially but i'm good like 
I'm not stressing about finances right now when I've been stressing about finances almost my entire life or my entire adulthood. Me working out was just like, no, this is not, not me, this is not gonna happen. But then for some reason, I found just the strength to do it and the motivation to do it. And I'm like, man, I just want to look good. You know, I just want to look good. You look good, you feel good. And not that I'm not comfortable in my own skin or like the body that I have, I like my body. Um, but it's just like, you know, I just wanted to look a certain way. And so I'm willing to put in the work to do it. Let's get our body together. Let's get our health together. So I've been like trying to find better options or trying to find a better diet for myself. And again, not like that my life is perfect or like everything is perfect. And I'm like this perfect person. Like I'll eat cookies or I'll eat a pot. Like this week, it was one of the kids' birthdays at the preschool I work at. And so they had popsicles and the teacher offered me a popsicle and I was like, absolutely, I'm going to eat my popsicle. Um, I have popsicles in the fridge, like, you know, like, but I'm just transitioning. I'm tra I'm not trying to put too much pressure on myself to be like, oh, well, you need to just go ahead and start just straight up be a vegan. Like, that ain't me. So why am I going to do that? Because it's not really who I am. Like, let's just choose better, healthier options. Like, that's it. I'm not trying to be a health guru out here like if i get to that point great but um i ain't pressing i ain't putting too much pressure on myself i think that's something that i'm learning this year is that like last year i think i learned a few things but last year i think i really learned like things can change in a, a split second like your life it may seem like it may seem bad right now but it'll be okay like it will work itself out guarantee it and i can only say that from experience that's what i learned like one of the things that i learned last year so i think this year i learned to just not put pressure on myself like okay if i want to go and work out and do what i need to do do it go for it and i think that's what's been helping me stay motivated is being like you know keep pushing and you will get the results that you want but if you just stop trying because you don't see the progress happening so quickly you're not gonna get to where you want to be and so i had to just learn you know i've been learning that this year which i'm really thankful for thankful i'm really grateful and thankful that god has showed me that so i say all that to say just take take your time with yourself like if that's if you're like oh i want to work out i want to do these things right make a plan get you a plan that's what helped me out a lot too it's like kind of motivated me i got me a like cute little notebook i don't have time to show y'all but i'll show y'all one day but i have this cute little notebook i got for like three dollars i'm like okay i'm gonna use this and start like making a plan for my workouts and stuff instead of just going in just finding a youtube video to just follow their workouts i'm like okay let me try these things out it's gonna take time to build up a workout routine it's gonna take time to build up a healthy eating routine like a healthy diet it's gonna take time you have to give yourself time don't just assume that it's just gonna happen like that i'll see youtube videos or just videos in general and they're like work on those goals that you want to do especially if you're single and you, girl please don't be worried about no husband let him find you okay let him find you and that's again that's something else i had to learn last year like i have to let God work his work his magic. I'd have to let God be my matchmaker. And I was talking to some friends. I know this is like all over the place, but I'm just thinking of random things. But I, I was talking at work to uh, one of the two girls that I work with in my room. And they're both, one of them, she's 21. The other one's 20. The 21 year old is married. The 20 year old is single. And we was talking about being single and stuff. And I was just telling her like, I don't I'm not in a relationship I'm not planning to be in a relationship like that's not nothing that I want to do right now like if it happens it happens if God is like oh here you go then I'm like okay cool let's see how it goes whatever but like if you don't give me an option I'm not gonna be pressed about having an option and so like that's just something I had to learn and again I the way that I'm speaking and talking like this is not hasn't been me forever like this is not how it's always been like I've never really had this mindset I used to be so pressed over finding someone and having a husband and stuff I just want 
to experience the goodness of God. Like, I just want to experience what God has for me in that specific area of my life. And I'm like, I'm willing to wait for it. Like, I'm not going to sit here and be sad about it and cry. What is what is that going to fix? Nothing. I can pray all I want, but does that mean God is going to randomly just give it to me because I just prayed? No. Like, maybe, but no. Like, I've been praying for the last 26 years. I'm okay. Like, if that's enough praying, let it be. And I'm like, okay, just let God work his ways. Like, don't press it. Don't push yourself. Don't stress out your stress yourself out. Just allow it to happen. And that's just with anything, not just like a husband, but just anything in life. Just allow these things to happen. Just let the Lord work out the things for you in your life. And just be obedient and listen and follow. And no, that's not easy all the time. Of course not. It's it's not easy following Christ. But like, if you want a better life, that's what you have to do. And if you know, you know. If you don't, you better get with it. Because I'm telling you, it's, it's a different type of vibe over here. Like, it's good. We good over here. Okay? So make sure y'all be good too. And get with the Lord. Hey y'all, we in Atlanta. It's my birthday. But we celebrating turn 26. I'm so excited because I get to see my best friend. <laughs> this is going on YouTube. I hope you know that. That's my okay. turn. <laughs> Outfit from Sheen. Outfit from Sheen. Shirt from Sheen. <laughs> Pants from Sheen. Shoes from Sheen. Sheen, Sheen, Sheen. <laughs> and rainbow. <laughs> Passion fruit frozen, the frozen drink. Do y'all have that here? Let me see it again. This one. Okay, can I do that? Um, let's do a grande, and that's it. fun day though we so it was just me and my me and my friend today's her birthday so we about to get ready for dinner um so literally we were we went to this place called pond city market and it was it was really cute they had like shops there they had um they also had like food places there so i got some sushi she got like these K dogs, Korean hot dog things. And then we had to leave because the dinner is at 8 15 and it's about to be 8 o'clock. But we just got back. So we have to so I have to go get ready for dinner and stuff. Um she's having it at five church, which is I heard is nice. So I got a cute little outfit to go with, whatever. And they're supposed to be coming to pick me up. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna redo my makeup, probably Get in a shower really fast, really, really fast, like a quick, quick shower, and then I'll just be getting ready. We're gonna go on beat, though. Mm -hmm. Gotta go on beat. Don't fall. Every hand, 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 every 
Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday. Um, this is my last day in Atlanta. Yesterday was so fun. We did so much. Um, today I'm about to go watch the Barbie movie. Of course, I got my little Barbie ponytail. So I'm gonna go watch that movie. And I don't know if I'm gonna be going back home today or like tomorrow morning. I don't know. The Airbnb I was staying at, there were some things that were like broke while I was trying to use them. Like I had like I put my towel rack my towel on the towel rack and when i went to take it off the whole thing just like fell down so that and then when i was sitting on the couch i literally just sat down and it started wiggling so i went to go look and tell me why the leg of the couch was broke and it was like underneath the couch so i text her i messaged the lady and i was like hey like thank you so much for your stay because it was a really nice airbnb thank you for allowing me to stay here and all that i really appreciate it I had a great experience i'll leave a great review but also just want to let you know these were some things that i noticed that were broken um just so i don't get charged for them later just wanted to let you know again thank you because what you're not about to do is charge me for something that i did not do because i was only here for one night and i wasn't even there the whole day so but anyways, I'm about to go watch this Barbie movie. I'm really excited. I hope it's great. But I'm really, really excited to go see it. But yeah. Oh my goodness, that movie was so good. It was so cute too. So if you have not wanted to go see the Barbie movie, the new Barbie movie, please go see it. It's so cute and like, I just really liked it. The ending was really sweet i was about to cry um but it was really sweet like it was a good like plot and i don't want to give out any spoiler alerts but i'm gonna just not really tell you exactly what happened in the movie but i'll just tell you some stuff um but yeah it was just like like how barbie world it like the actual barbies are they everything is fake like all the toys are fake and stuff so in the movie everything was fake so when she was like eating breakfast she had a fake waffle a fake like with some fake whipped cream and she had a fake milk cart and poured the milk in a cup and just pretend to drink like it was just little the little things that were so cute in it I and mean, then the end was really sweet it was a lot of good messages in there <clears throat> i think my favorite part was probably like my favorite thing about it was the inclusion like they had different types of barbies like they had black barbies they had asian barbies they had hispanic barbies like they had white barbies like everybody was different and I, that's was probably my favorite part even like the main barbies that were shown more often were very diverse because i know a lot of times like movies like this when they remake live versions of live versions of movies it'd be like all the main characters are white and there's no like other races of characters but all the main characters were like different races and even like even for like the black women like the black barbies and the black kins like they they have some that were lighter skin they have some that were darker skin they have some that were brown skin. so like even that was important for me as a black girl to be like okay this was movie was really really diverse you know you could just tell that there's a difference in how movies are being created now and that's just it's just such a great thing um but yeah it was really good they had this little like barbie box that you could like take pictures in front of i should have went to take one but i got shy i was by myself and i'm actually wearing a really cute top that would have went perfect with it and i got my barbie pony so i should have went but i mean i still could probably walk in there and take one but i just feel awkward and weird but yeah great movie so i gotta go get some earrings because they fell out so i realized i never showed y'all my outfit but this mirror this little wall in the bathroom matched my shirt so i'm gonna show y'all right here this is what i'm wearing today this is my shirt and i can play those classic and these shorts All right, so today is Sunday and I am on my way back home. I have a four hour drive, so I'm just trying to get home. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. 
and i will see you guys in my next video don't forget to like comment subscribe bye you, you,